with a video, it's Petrical Black here and welcome back to another video. Uh, today in this video I'm going to be doing another little uh, big finish unboxing. This one's hopefully going to be a lot uh, shorter because today in this video I will only be unboxing three audios. Uh, so yeah, so without further ado, let's begin this unboxing. Um, unlike last time, these are three uh, audios from the monthly range. Three over 50 audios. Um, see ya. Yeah. Nice bit of rubble wrapping. And you can probably tell the first one already. See ya. Okay then, so... Uh, as you can see, these are all second-handed. Uh, so yeah. Oh yeah. Um. Okay then. Uh, two of these I know are really good audios. Um, one and the other one I uh, I'm not sure on whether it's good or not. But um, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, the first one in this little lot is uh, Scherzo, or Scherzo, or whatever Zo <laughs> it's called. Um, so yeah, so there's a look at the front. Uh, the spine, it's the 52nd in the uh, monthly range. So yeah, and then there's a look at the back. Uh, so yeah, uh, let me just read off the blurb. Uh, Uh, they were two friends. Together they travelled the cosmos. They fought to tyrants and defeated monsters. They righted wrongs wh wherever they went. They explored the distant future and the distant part and the distant past. New worlds and galaxies, places beyond imagining. But every good good story has to come to an end, with uh, no times or places left to explore. All the two friends have now are each other. But maybe that's one voyage too many. Maybe they'll discover things they'd rather left undisturbed, hidden away in suffocating, unfeeling, deafening brightness. Once upon a time, far, far away. And it's running times 100 minutes approximately. Uh, sounds like a very interesting, uh, uh, just from the verb, it sounds like a very interesting audio. And I know this one's meant to be a very, um, uh, like a dictionary definition of weird. Um, and I do know this is actually the only, uh, I think one of the only, maybe the only big finish that actually only has uh, the Doctor and his companions in it, and his companion in the actual story itself, and like no other cast members, so it's going to be very interesting to listen, and I have heard it's quite good, and you can see it's a um, 40th anniversary release, uh, and then here is uh, the discs. Um, so as you can clearly see, there's that little um, picture of the uh, bonded hands. Um, I think the Doctor and Charlie holding hands um, to represent friendship. I think because this is meant to be more of a character piece. I think. Um, so yeah. And then here we have disc two containing parts three and four, and a picture of those hands again. Um, so yeah. I think this one's going to be a very interesting listen, um, and this one does um, open, uh, or is the start to the Divergent Universe uh, story arc, which I am very interested in, and I'm thinking of uh, getting all of the audios um, in that kind of um, specific saga. Um, so yeah, there's Sherzo. Now moving on to what I think is the um, the penultimate in the um, Divergent Universe um, uh, arc uh, or kind of range um, because I know the next life which is the final one in the Divergent, in the Divergent Universe arc is number 64 and this is number 63 which is one I definitely don't know how to pronounce and that is uh, Kedoria. Uh, I have absolutely no clue how you pronounce this one but um, so yeah so yeah, I don't think I'm going to listen to this one until I get the Creed of the, the Creed 
of the Croman, which is the first audio to feature Conrad Westmass as Chris. Um, so yeah. Then there's a look at the spine. It's the 63rd in the Big Finish monthly range. Um, so yeah. Uh, Self-exiled to a new universe, separated from the TARDIS, opposed and manipulated by the Divergence and their agent, uh, the Kurokar, the Kroker. Uh, the Doctor has been struggling to work out the nature of their cos of the cosmic game in which he he's an unwilling pawn. Uh, now at last he has a chance to find the answer and regain the TARDIS. Threatened and desperate, the Kroker abandons... Uh, the behind the scenes uh, mech in uh, machine. Uh, I'm actually really not sure you pronounce that. Um, Machinitons uh, to confront the doctor directly. But will both of them lose their way in the maze of this strange world in which they find themselves? A world in which a clock uh, may have a cuckoo but no hands. A labyrinth imprisons a paradox. The Garden of Custatis uh, reveals something the Doctor has never seen before. As the Doctor faces these challenges, Charlie and Chris prove, uh, provide valuable help. With the TARDIS itself at stake, the Doctor reaches deep in, uh, inside himself to find some upsetting new allies. And the running time for this is 105 minutes approx. And for the innards, we have a bit of the booklet. Um, so yeah. And there's the cast, uh, and then there's the um, uh, disc art, uh, which contains, um, which has on it like the, a maze that's been depicted on the front cover, and kind of a uh, rough outline of this uh, ball, kind of in the center of the disc. Uh, so yeah, uh, there's that. And I believe this one opens around this way. It does. And then there's this too, which actually features another picture of another maze. Um, so yeah, and that contains parts three and four. And then there's the Eighth Doctor collection, uh, just an advertisement for all of the other uh, big finish um, Eighth Doctor audios that um, uh, have been uh, released uh, at the time of this release. Um, so yeah, I believe this is the anti penultimate, the penultimate of the. Uh, care of the um, Divergent Universe arc and I think uh, those uh, so let me see, sets 8 are the ones I do need to get for the Divergent Universe arc um, uh, so yeah there's uh, Care Doria um, don't know too much about this so yeah and then the, now the last one is one I am both looking forward to but not looking forward to it at the same time because apparently somebody's brain explodes in this story with blood splatters and all and that is the apparently very graphic audio red um, so yep yeah, so there's a look at the front uh, the spine and it's the 85th in the monthly range and then there's a look at the back um, so yep yeah, uh, subject 2660 Cecilia, uh, Cecilia uh, Fortunati uh, a designated citizen of the needle subject experiencing traumatic violent uh, delusions during waking moments subject remains pacified and under control of White House medication has been prescribed subject 0357 V. Vlu Queen, des uh, designated uh, matriarch of the for the needle. Subject is under constant surveillance due to her wish to experience harm. This is in direct uh, contravention of white noises programming. Also, supplier of the drug classified as slow. Editing is required. Subject 0841, Chief Blue. Technician in a symbiotic relationship and this white noise system, uh, knowledgeable in human psychological evaluation. Subject has been diagnosed a voyeur and a dangerous obsession with the red tape. Machine augmentation is favoured to curb the defect. Subject's error, Melane, uh, 
Melaine Bush, uh, designated companion of subject 3999. Subject error is not shipped and is a threat. Her ability to harm has not been checked, uh, compromising the continued security programming of this white noise system. She must be inhibited. Subject 3999. Uh, the doctor. Subject has committed homicide. This subject now in constant me uh, red line. His, pro his uh, propensity uh, for violence remains unchecked. Analysis suggests uh, synchronization with the killer. The doctor will attempt to kill again. He must be stopped. So I actually really like that blurb. It doesn't really give um, anything away about the story. I wouldn't say all too much away about the story. It just kind of um, I kind of like it when audios do that. It's just not. Uh, it's just um, stating some of the characters and giving them a brief description and not really um, telling you much about the story, which is quite nice. And the running time for this audio is 130 minutes approximately. So yeah, and then there's a look at the booklet. Uh, See, so yeah, and with the cast members and whatnot, and a very sinister picture, and somewhat and quite haunting picture of the Seventh Doctor there. And then there's disc one, which is uh, completely red. Um, See, so yeah. And then there's uh, disc two, uh, which contains parts three and four. And then there's an advertisement for the Seventh Doctor collection. Uh, starting from the signs of time going all the way up to the dark flame uh, so yeah the dark flame being uh, all just kind of listing all of the uh, uh, seven Fox audio as you can see here dark flame being one I'm quite interested in because apparently it's very like a um, virgin uh, missing adventure or virgin new adventures kind of or virgin books kind of um, style of audio uh, so I am interested in that one and with regards to this story itself I'm very uh, kind of curious albeit skeptical about this story um, it's mainly because of its uh, violence levels um, like I said apparently somebody's brain actually explodes in this story with blood splatters and all so um, yeah it sounds like a pretty um, epically violent audio um, so yeah, and that concludes this, and that pretty much concludes this big finish unboxing of uh, Sherzo uh, Caridoria, uh, Caridoria and Red. Uh, so yeah, so like, follow, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Pitch gold black, dematerializing.